Hi, everybody. What is up? Hi. So, Nick and I are getting ready to go to the auto show. Chicago auto show. Chicago auto show, yes. Chicago so, auto show. So, we'll be recording oh, and taking video of our time. We'll test Chicago. drive some cars. And Nick's going to be test driving some cars. So, I'll we'll be, definitely be recording that. Let's see what we could read. We could test drive Dodge. Was it not? Is it Dodge? I know oh, Ram, Jeep, Volkswagen, Toyota, or the indoor, and then outdoor is Honda, Ford, and Subaru. I think it is. Yeah. So we'll see what we can get done today. So sorry for the shaking, guys. But yes, so we're excited to show you guys. This is our first time at the Chicago Auto Show. So. Yes. I've been reading a lot of things on face or online about it, and I'm excited to go. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we'll see you guys on the next clip. All right, so here we are walking through. I can show you guys a little bit. Definitely a lot different than the Peoria one, that's for sure. <laughs> so, like, we're gonna kind of go towards the back and start working our way to this towards the front, then we can go to the other side where the rest of the cars are at. So kind of quickly walk through these guys as we start in the back by like GMC, Volkswagen. I like how that blue color is just like totally different from the screen. Oh yes! And she's going to try to see if she can capture the actual true color of that car. It's like a aqua color. show you guys more of the Corvette CA convertible here when we come through the Chevy dealership. Yeah. Definitely like how they got the show set up. Car Hard Edition Silverado. Nice yeah, we're just kind of walking in the back and we're gonna start working our way through it. Um, we'll kind of go through more of these car dealerships more in, in depth here in a little bit. Just kind of kind of get away from the crowd as everybody's entering into the auto show. Smallest setup here in our favorite dealership, favorite brand is the Mazdas. They got such a tiny little bitty setup this year. I don't know if it's every year, but that's just how they are this year. A little Volkswagen. Oh, is this a little off road track over here? You can test drive them. Oh, yeah. Oh, I want to try this now. <laughs> you go in line. I think start like. Off yeah, you guys can kind of see over there like. They go through the dirt. Cool. I'm definitely going to register up for this thing. Oh, you betcha I'm doing this. This looks cool. You going to come with me? All right, I'm going to turn off as we try to go through this. All right, so it looks like we're getting ready to go into the Volkswagen Atlas Crossport. We're going to go in the blue one. I'm down for that. That's what you color. I can't They're definitely cool looking cars. Yeah. That's a little cool setup track. You guys will go along for the ride on it. Good, how are you? Good. Good. Roll the window down. Roll the window down. Can you roll this window down? Oh, yeah. Good, you? Thank you. Perfect. There you go. All right, we're on the GoPro team. Yeah. yeah, GoPro and GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is the new 2020 Atlas Cross Sport. 
all new for 2020. And what they've done is they've taken the full size Atlas and kind of given it a fast back roof line and gotten rid of that third row so people have the option to not have the third row. And it looks a little bit sportier. This one has the four motion all wheel drive system. Right now we're in off road mode. Four different modes to the off road, uh, to the four motion system snow, on road, off road, and off road custom. When you're in off road, it does give you hill descent control. So when you're coming down in descent, it controls the speed of it on the way down. Also has that 360 degree camera there. You can actually select different cameras to look at and you can go full screen with it. So you can actually see if you're pulling up to a curb that your wheel's not gonna hit it. All these wheels on these new cars are pretty expensive, so that keeps you from having to buy new wheels and tires often. There's a two liter turbo, four cylinder, and a 3.6 naturally aspirated V6, and you can get four motion all wheel drive on both engines. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So, what did you think of that? I liked it. It was really cool. I liked the camera views. Right. Oh, yeah. The camera views really the... cool. That's kind of a little elevation change. Yeah, it was kind of cool. Okay. Kind of different kind of settings. Cool. What's kind of cool about this is the fact that you get to try different cars. That, honestly, I've never checked out a yeah, cross sport. You can go like, look at it if you want it. But I never would have checked one out. Yeah. It's actually kind of cool. It kind of gave me something different of what's actually out I like there. The technology. Oh, yeah. Like, I never really even look at Volvos. Volvos aren't really my like forte. They're not Volvos, Volkswagens. I mean, see, I don't even know. This one's actually got leather set up in it. Yeah. Back seat was nice and runny. Like the little roof rack on it. I love the green color. I do though. too. I wonder if the green is just because of the. The show? Okay, show them back seat. Can't really tell in there, but. There's quite a bit of leg room. Oh, As you can see, it it's, so got, it's got a rubber mat on the back of your seats for storage. You're not putting things on the, on your seat and scratching the back of your seat up. <laughs> Tons of storage space back here. Yeah, there. so they're saying, like, no third row. So, so is this for, I don't know what that is for, like, stop your car go from I think. Now? Maybe this is like the, I don't know. That's kind of different. Yeah. Yeah. Hit the button. There you go. Yeah, I love that green color. That's so cool. I don't, so I don't cool. know if it's color of theirs or it's the color of like maybe the, the, the I don't know. The, yeah, if you, can, you guys can kind of tell like it's been wrapped. Yeah. See, I don't know if the wrapping is just to make them stand out. I don't know. These are cool though. I, this looks more of a more of the color. No, because you can kind of see like the imperfections oh. up there. Oh yeah. Let well, us know in the comments if you guys actually know a little bit more about the Volkswagen Cross Sport. See if actually they actually have those colors or if it's just an auto show special just to make it stand out and pop. But honestly, I really like this. It's kind of cool. That would be something to look into. I really would. You mean to say you might change from Mazda? Yeah, Mazda. <laughs> That's dope. Canyons. I actually have the prices up there for this one instead of actually have to look at the window stickers but There's this one those bad boys cost. sorry i'm still stuck on the other ones <laughs> but with these though i would have to go actually way down there to actually the volvo well, sign yeah to look them over but at this show it's more the car companies bring the cars in to show what you guys are seeing yeah versus the last one we went to we have all those window stickers because it's just the local dealerships True. Right so yeah you're gonna have the more decked out like, I can see a truck over there with tracks on it. That's going to be cool to check out. You wouldn't see that. So, yeah, they're bringing their more decked out cars to this show versus what's going to find on the sh Yeah, you can find these on your showroom floor. These are going to be your upper end high price. Yeah. This is what I want to see right here. You can kind of see the GMC Sierra with tracks. The thing is set up for the snow. Looks like it's snow. It's the V8. 
I thought it was gonna be the Duramax. That is just kind of cool. That's different. That is a big truck. Actually, go underneath this uh, Denali, and it's looking like it might be the Duramax diesel too. It's actually gonna go underneath the diesel. Ever wonder what it looks like underneath the trucks? A video of David Busters one day. <laughs> there we go. Free gameplay of David Busters. That's like two games. <laughs> right. Kia. Kia Souls. Kia. I actually kind of made the front end is a little bit sharper. They're still a hamster car, but they are, but they're cute. Cute little hamsters. Cute little hamsters. I like little sports car they got over here. There's Subaru, which Subaru has an outdoor test drive. So we have to go check that. Hopefully, we will check that one out. Well, Kia Stinger. Sports car for a Kia. Yeah. Starting price of fifty-two thousand dollars. Thank you. Oh, it's buy twenty get twenty. Well, driving experience. We're going to drive a Telluride. I feel like that's gonna be sick, bouncing around like that. Telly rides. Which the telly ride even starts out cheaper than the Stinger does. Now it's still a telly ride. I like the wood grain inside here. The wood grain on here. Here. The wood grain on the dash. My sun roofs through it. Seats look different. Does it have? It's got heated seats, but I don't think it has. Oh, it does have air conditioned seats. So that's not bad. For $42,000, you can get a car with heat or with uh, air conditioned seats. Oh, there you go. So if you're in that hot sun, you can cool your bum. <laughs> wow. Sometimes a poet. I'm a poet and I don't even know it. Subaru. I love like the little scenery setup they have. Oh my god, are puppies Yeah, there's puppies in there. <gasps> Menorah Angel is on her way too. The Impreza. I really like the Impreza. I think I wouldn't get a stock one, I think it'd be like the WRX. <laughs> I 
looks like one puppy. Oh, is there two puppies? Another one. Oh, is there? Yeah. I don't see the one puppy. So you got all these different cars in here for different kinds of setups, like the Forester with the little roof rack on the back. We got CrossFit. It's got the, the cross track, I mean. It's got the bicycle rack on top. They kind of just show like the different accessories, different options you can do with them. Love the orange stitching in this though. That is cool. This is really nice. Oh, no, I'm a sucker for orange. I love it. A little orange up top, a little accent. We got down on the bottom. Oh yeah. And, and, oh yeah. With the addition, like the new Outback that came out with what 2016. So like that Subaru has definitely kind of stepped it up. They've always been a reliable car, but their looks have kind of come around too, not just a little box. I do like the little here. Makes me feel like I'm in nature. It's kind of hoping they had a WRX here. I love this. See the old school box style oh, yeah. Subaru. This setup just shows if you love nature, you're gonna love a Subaru. <laughs> and if you love puppies, you'll love a Subaru. Subarus are all about the puppies. I'll have to go up there and check that out here in just a second. It's a three row Subaru SUV. I'm really not good about my Subarus, guys. Sorry. I know what the Foresters it says on the headlights, but this one doesn't. It's a nice one. It's a big one. The three. If you feel like littering, here's a way to figure out how long it's going to last before it breaks down. <laughs> no litter, you guys. <laughs> Next geyser eruptions at 1030. I don't know what that is, but... I feel like I'm in the nature. These little park benches. Yeah, it's very cool. It looks really cool on the camera. Yeah, it does. Walking on water. I'm walking on water, guys. Kind of cool. It's actually a prototype out back. Look at that. <laughs> I don't know about prototype, but it's possibly looking at a 2021 outlet. Oh, it says prototype, you guys, so I'm not sure if it's just a new package for it or if it's actually going to be like the new change to the Outback like 2021. Let's see. Really doesn't tell us what kind of one this one is, but ooh, look at that screen on that one. Actually, a little lime green stitching on the inside, but that is like the biggest screen I've seen in a car. It's definitely cool. I love the little green stitching on the seats, on the door. Look at the screen in that. I like the green. I know, that's huge. So it's, I don't know which one this one's going to be, but whoa, plenty of space back here. A quarter century ago, Subaru introduced the Outback to the world. And our owners got an idea. They packed up, stickered up, strapped down, and headed off. They brought bikes, boats. 
campers. They used maps made of paper and pixels. They drove through snow, ice, rain, mud, and other stuff. The road was long, so they pulled over occasionally to stretch and look and look some more. And if they brought kids, they had to stop to, well, you know. Then they kept going, driving over and under and through, all to get to the national parks. They slept in teardrops and tents. Sometimes on top and sometimes just inside. They brought furry friends. Little friends. And made new friends. Some really good ones. They got cold. They got wet. They dried off. had a snack, and did it all again. And they hung around a while longer. They saw some things, and some things saw them. Their Subaru Outback helped them see things they'd never seen before. And sometimes, they didn't even need to get out. Eventually, they loaded up and headed back home. And they brought back more than what they left with. introduced 25 years ago. Its capability, combined with our owner's love of these special places, inspired Subaru to invest in the national parks for generations to come. <laughs> Subaru cares about our environment, which is why our manufacturing plants produce zero waste. And Subaru shared its zero landfill expertise with the national parks through the Don't Feed the Landfills initiative helping eliminate over six billion pounds of waste from the national parks so far. In fact, Subaru has been helping the parks for over 20 years, educating on environmentalism through Leave No Trace. Recently, Subaru capped this partnership with the parks by becoming the largest corporate partner of the National Park Service's 100-year anniversary. To date, Subaru has contributed over $68 million to help preserve the parks. The Subaru Outback belongs in the national parks. So it is with great pride that we share with our valued partner, the National Park Foundation, the introduction of the most capable, the most adventurous, the best Outback we have ever made the 2020 Subaru Outback. Go where love takes you.
In fact, we're highlighting right here the new Onyx edition. And we have brought back the XT. So we have a 2.4 liter turbocharged engine putting out 266 horsepower, 277 pound-feet of torque. So talk about getting up those mountains really quick and keeping you going. That is exactly what our Outbacks are capable of. So we would invite you to come on over. Tammy actually has a set of keys, not that you can drive off with it, but we would love to do a walk around for you. 3,500 pound towing capacity on the uh, turbocharged engines. That's what you're gonna find as well on the new Outback. The new 11.6 inch infotainment screen or center information display. Streamlined, absolutely beautiful, nice big icons, easy to get around, very into a size sphere you'll find inside of the all new Onyx edition as well. And of course the legendary personal room rail or integrated room rail. See ya, if you guys like nature, you better buy a Subaru. If you hate nature, buy something else. <laughs> I have to say though, that's pretty good. Uh, like oh yeah, deal. marketing scheme wise, that was like, perfect. That's the best one I've seen yet. Oh, they actually do have the car I was hoping they had here. <laughs> Impreza's WRXs. This one and the white one. And they have the STI and the blue over there. Which I love the STIs too, but I can't afford an STI. <laughs> wing on the back leg so I was wrong guys that's a 2020 uh, Subaru Outbacks they're not 2021s like I was guessing I love the blue color on this like the bright yellow brakes on it Engine pop over, try to show you guys a little bit of the inside. Kind of get a little idea of the prices on these. 41000 starting out for the STI. Well, that's a limited STI, 36 for the plain STI. I don't know where Angel ran off to. All wheel drive car. Definitely nice. <laughs> Got STI rims on it. Only problem with the auto shows you gotta fight to get inside to sit down and show you guys. We'll kind of show you guys the back seats though, just on this WRX. I don't think this is the STI, I think it's just the plain WRX. Go a little red on the seats. The Angel's already worn out. Sue Bruce have ended her. She's done. She can't make it no more. <laughs> nope, done. Here's a white one. I'll show you kind of got the interior a little bit on. Maybe. The red striping on the side. Kind of basic plane. Oh, it's got heated seat little button down there you guys can see Not bad little cars love the little pearl paint on the scheme on this one all right you ready to work good way i don't know where we're chevy. we got chevy Hyundai. Hyundai, Hyundai. we got volkswagen we got chevy we got hyundai we got mazda we got honda we got nissan we still got quite a bit over here yeah this is a lot this is the smallest section the smallest side yeah the other side is a lot bigger that's where like ford and toyota and dodge jeep ram are all at so i guess it's a big here, 
Yeah, we could finish this way. Here we go. Shoot. What? Monday, what? Monday, what? Oh. Well, let's finish Nissan. We can go through Honda, Hyundai, Mazda, and then go back over to Volkswagen. Or, yeah, Volkswagen and then Chevy. Be done. Head over to the next one then. I do like that orange color. So good. It does have like the orange pen striping on the inside, which I love the orange pen striping. Oh, I want to get in. That's fine. Little off-road truck. It's so cool. How they got everything just set up. It's a lot, a lot bigger show. It's awesome how they have. Just the setups, just to show everybody the cars. I do like the looks of this car though. I'm not much of a Nissan person. I'll just kind of go over here as Angela sits in it. I'll show you guys the interior a little bit. It's got the little carbon fiber look, the orange pin striping. Oh, I like the screen. Oh, yeah. I like how like the USB ports all lit up orange. Where? Like when you clo open the door. Oh, close them. Now open your door back up. I don't know what I don't know what you did then. You want to Oh, there it is, right there. Oh yeah. It's kind of cool. Oh, but you the light. You cover it. Oh. That's kind of cool. So they do kind of light up. It's definitely a nice looking car though. For a Nissan. Trivia, that would be in your area, not mine. Nissan Trivia? Maybe not Nissan. I don't know Nissan at all. Huh? Ooh, I think they do have a GTR, guys. So we'll go over and check out the GTR. I didn't even realize they still made them. They got a blue one and it looks like they got a silver one. So we'll go check that out. Oh no, that's a 370Z silver one. There's a 50th anniversary GTR. I like the little burnt tips on the exhaust. An all gas powered uh, CRV is going to be running on a 4.5 liter four cylinder turbocharged. Yeah. These uh, CRV hybrids are going to be top of the line. Definitely a sharp looking car. Yeah. Mommy and Daddy have a car ride without Blake. Mommy and Daddy ain't riding this car. <laughs> See the negativity I have to deal with sometimes? Oh. <laughs> I think about our lives. <laughs> okay, that's cool though. Well, bows in the headrest? <laughs> yeah. That is kind of cool. Check this one. This is the Can kids. Can play the radio? Oh, shoot, you can. Oh, this one is? Yep, it's the Nissan Kicks. It's kind of cool, like the orange roof. It's your back, I'm just saying. <laughs> How do you run the back? It's Whoa. old school. It's got bows in the headrest, but it doesn't have power seats. That's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, we're just looking for you. <laughs> I 
should just go big or go home, go with the Armada. Starting out at 70,000. It's just a big SUV. Spanish on there. <laughs> Spanish station. Nice! <laughs> even brought out a side by side. For Honda even brought out a side by side. Nice. It's so bright in this booth. They do have a Type R. They got a Star Wars Disneyland van too. <laughs> Scott Dixon's Indy car. Not fl fluffy friendly. It's not fluffy friendly. I always thought the wings were bigger on these. Oh, it's teeny tiny. Another oh, blue. Like a dry thing. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Another blue type R. Oh. <laughs> nice seatbelts. <laughs> I love the Type R's too. I'm all about that Japanese muscle. Is this one Type R too, or is this just an aggressive looking Civic? That's what I feel like that one. Yeah, it's a Type R. Check out the orange Velocer. I always liked the Velocers, but after uh, Peoria's auto show, I really fell in love with the Velocers. Ooh, look at the rims. Sorry, guys, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> I like the rims. Okay, after the Peoria one, I really fell in love with the Velocer even more. I, I always liked them. But after seeing it actually in person and getting to sit in it in uh, Peoria's one, especially the Velocer ends. Like, don't get me wrong, the, tur the 6 .1, or 1 1.6 liter turbo Velocers are nice, but I love those type or er, uh, Velocer ends. Yeah. <laughs> Got the metallic to it. Not a bad, got the little cup holders in the back. Yeah, this is just the turbo. This isn't the N, which the N's what? 2.0 liter? Well, just the turbo. Definitely a nice little car. I love that orange color. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but it definitely has a metallic spark. It does show up crazy blue in the camera. Baby blue. Only actually racing an IMSA for the Michelin uh, Pilot Challenge.
drive your little Velocity. Yeah, it moves with it too. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Yeah, the Michelin Pilot Challenge is what it's called for him, so. I think if I got a Velocity, I'd have to get that wing on the back. That just looks so <laughs> cool. Fancy on us. It's a fancy way of saying bass. The boss. The different kinds of colors I have. Check out some Mazdas when we go over to the Volkswagen and see if we can actually find a price on the one. I like that maroon color. That is different. It's like a purpley maroon. It's kind of cool. I don't know if the camera really picks up the sparkle as much as the person. If you'd like some more details on our 2020 CX-30 or any of the vehicles you see here, please see me or any of the product specialists. We'd be more than happy to answer your questions. We also have our limited edition Mazda keychain celebrating 100 years of Mazda. So if you'd like to sign up for one of that, please feel free to see one of us. Thanks again for stopping by Mazda and enjoy the rest of your day here at the Chicago Auto Show. I think I like the MX-5 with the hard top over the road. Maybe it's just the color, I don't know. That one with the hard top looks really nice. Probably gotta talk to the ladies. Yeah, I bet. That hard top looks really nice. sizes of SUVs now, so it's crazy. The CX-3, the CX-30, the CX-5, the CX-9. CX-9s, they are three row seating. Slide the seat forward before you get people in the back. The little center console here in the middle. That's different. It's kind of cool though. But when you have three rows up, you don't have storage. And literally your head's gonna be right in the glass. So I don't know if I'm really a big fan of that. I definitely wouldn't want to be the back person riding in that with my head that close to the glass. I don't know if that's just a Mazda thing or if that's 
all SUVs. Like all the bigger SUVs. Signature. So yeah, they don't have a diesel here. It's kind of a bummer. I didn't want to look for one, but let's go find Angela now. She's looking at white CX-5 and I kind of just wandered off, which I'm really good at doing. There she is. She still doesn't see me. <laughs> I'm like, where is he? <laughs> I'm lost. Yeah, I kind of wander off. Can you give me a keychain? Why don't you ask about a keychain? I don't want to. I'm scared. Why well, would you want a keychain then? <laughs> I have two moms that I, I deserve a cheap keychain. Well, that's the one lady who was talking about him earlier. Yeah. Ask her what you guys oh. do about his keychain. Alright, I'm going to turn the camera off while she's talking. We'll show you what we just got from the Mazda dealership. A little Mazda. Yeah, so these sell too. online for $25. Just a little bar. It's a little bar. Well, it says Mazda on it. There's a little box. A Mazda box that comes in. All I do is kind of fill out a little survey, which being Mazda owners, pretty simple. Yeah. <laughs> we love our Mazdas. I did ask the guy about the diesel. And he said the diesel pretty much went bye-bye. They kind of showed it, said, hey, we got a diesel. And then they put it in the back burner and kind of just got rid of it. So no one, most dealerships probably never even seen the diesel. I'm a lot. I know every time I go to a Mazda dealership, I ask about the diesel. I want to know more about the diesel because I'm interested in it because I love the Mazdas. But yeah, I don't think they ever showed up. And it wasn't the hit that they thought it was going to be. Right. Came out. So now we're on the Volkswagens. Let's go see if we can find that what, cross play. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no. oh, cross. Yes, cross sport. So starting at 31, 30, not bad. 35. It's not bad for me. No. Oh. Plenty of room in the back seat. You guys can kind of see. Rear face are not used. But I don't really know what that's for. That's kind of different. But we have plenty of room if you have a little baby backward facing seat. Where with us, we had like pretty much pinned up against our back seats. It does have a lot of leg room. Which there really was quite a bit of room for him in the Mazda, but when I had a I had a Ford Focus and there was no room whatsoever for Blake. And then being a two row, there's plenty of storage back here for all your strollers, car seats, whatever you need. I like it. I honestly like it. I'm just waiting to get it. I want to oh, see fine. how it is in the driver's seat. Oh yeah, you're fine. But yeah, I honestly like it. I think it's kind of neat. I do too. There's tons of room. This is kind of like the first car I'm kind of excited about after, I mean, other than my Mazda. That is true. We've been such fans of Mazdas and loyal yeah. Mazdas, but yeah. This one right here, 35, it's got the technology trim. Actually, it's 38 technically shown. Which, 22 city, 21 highway. It gets a little bit. A little less than what their Mazda gets, but it's still not bad. Like we're getting 26, 27 with the Mazda on the open road. It's got mud buddies. That's what I'm talking about right there. Don't have to buy WeatherTechs. Trim, you can pop your trunk right there. What's up? just like my Mazda, but it does come down more. Oh, look at the big sunroof. Oh yeah, it's got a sunroof all, all the, way. the way down the back. Blake would love that. Oh yeah, Blake would have a ball with that.
Let's uh, do the trunk. Huh. You pop your trunk with that button right there. Cool. Auto lights. Oh, look at your start engine right here. That's kind of cool. But that might be bad. Well, I know you always put your purses and stuff. I always up put there. my stuff right here. Yeah. That would like turn it off. <laughs> she would find a way to turn the car off going down the that road. Be, yeah. That's yeah, not bad. They're nice. I really wonder if they have lime green now. If they have lime green, I'm sold. But yeah, I like it. at the moment, we're not in the car market. We're not looking to buy a new vehicle because hopefully in the next week or so, we'll have some huge announcement for you guys. We got two huge announcements coming. Well, One, we're gonna be reading hopefully. Yeah, we got a big announcement. Hopefully we're gonna be bringing to you guys. It's, we've been pretty much waiting for about a month now. It's like that waiting in the process to see if it's gonna happen or not. So hopefully within the next week or two, we'll have that. We can share it with you guys and just bring you along on our adventure. And if, if it happens, there is no car market for us. If it don't market. happen, what's that? It's a whole different other market. Yeah, it's a whole different other market, which will bring you guys along that whole journey with that. If we don't move, you never know what's gonna happen with the car wise. I'm always looking at new cars. <laughs> Especially when I find a car I really like. Yeah, the Carhartt Edition Silverado, which we're gonna head there next. I like the tail on these. I don't like the white on these though. There's no sparkles. When we get a white, I want that pearly white color that sparkles. Not just a plain white car. I'm sure Angel's the same way I'm at. I want to be sparkled. I want to be wild. <laughs> car hard edition. They are big trucks, aren't they? <laughs> Doesn't make you jump to get in it. Trucks have definitely gotten bigger, that's for sure. Now they show... So we'll be walking out here soon, so it's on the way out. But a scene where they should have a 2020 Colorado Bison. I just recently kind of learned about them. So I'm kind of curious to actually see what it is, what it entails. See if they actually have one. I know they had a poster or a sign up talking about it, so I'm really curious what what's more about it. I love the it's a basic flat orange, but it's still a nice orange. Orange is just orange. I always love orange. Well, this one's got the Duramax in it. 51. Ooh, buddy. I will pass on that. Especially trying to hit the trails with that. Yeah, everybody's over here. This place is packed for that C Corvette C8 convertible. So it's not just the regular one, it's just for the sportier Colorado. No, it's definitely packed over here, guys, for the car for, for the, the Corvette. Here we go. Sorry about that, guys. The battery died on my GoPro. Hopefully, I brought all three batteries. It will remember up to 1,000 different locations, saved in the memory, automatically lift and load itself over those obstacles. You can also configure the digital architecture on board to better fit your driving needs. We have new e-boost brakes. You can digitally tune and adjust your brakes. You can do your follow spots, your exhaust air, and your suspension with our new fourth generation Magride suspension. Folks, this barely scratches the surface of everything that we have on the Corvette. For the full rundown, please feel free to have a conversation with myself, my name is Richard, or any one of our knowledgeable product specialists here on the floor. From all of us here at Chevrolet, folks, thanks for coming to the Chicago International Auto Show. And wherever the day takes you, we hope you find new roads. That is just a sharp looking car. Yeah. 
And part of it is going to be how it says Chevy in the front versus the logo. Kind of bison down there. It's not a bad truck, but it's a Duramax. And I, I just can't see spending $52,000 for a Colorado. They're nice, don't get me wrong, but I, I just can't see spending that kind of money on that little truck. And those are definitely getting a lot more crowded in here now. I don't know if it's because we're closer to the entrance. Or if it's just, it's just more and more people just showing up. Here's another Corvette. I have to hold on. It's kind of just tucked away in the back. It's so like kind of squeeze in. This one's actually blue. And this one's actually the Sting Man. Very beloved. side where there's gonna be twice as many cars over there so we'll see you guys here in a little bit
scarier doing that than having a bunch of us driving you around. Well, <laughs> no, it, it just depends, you know, because with the dealers, we'll have a whole off-road course available and then all these, um, these very kind of severe, I won't say jumps, but they look like jumps, <laughs> so they'll take it like it's a jump, you yeah. know, <laughs> and they're sliding the car sideways and bank surfaces, which is really fun, so. 